Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 SEMA show and I came across a 72 C10 I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Truthfully, I should just put this thing, to, this video to music, right? I mean, you're gonna hear me say cool about 150,000 times between now and the end of it, I can promise you that. But what else do you say? You know, the, the, the C10 truck, I was thinking as I was editing this thing, the C10 truck is like the girl next door that wore glasses. And then you run into her, you know, years down the road and the glasses are gone, the braces are gone, and holy smokes, is that beautiful. But in this case, <laughs> cool, you know. Beautiful is kind of a soft word to use on a truck like this. It's a little more aggressive than beautiful, but it sure is cool. I love the pearl white paint, those bronze accents. That's cool. Not a lot of them. And everything's molded. The bumper's molded. Everything's molded. I mean, the bed and the cab are separate. The fenders are separate from the doors. But short of that, everything else is molded together. I like how they mounted the uh, gauges in the center of the dash. I think that's cool. And just that one touch of the bronze brought inside. Nice job. It's really clean. Mounted the amps and the sub behind the seats. Oh, they just kept the whole interior, like I said, I, I, clean. And I don't mind that they didn't headline the, the roof with that pearl paint. Oh, they finished it out. It looks good. The flush mount windows. I don't know if those are called flush mount. Those are the way the modern windows are mounted. But, nevertheless, there's no trim. That's all been removed. A lot of work and it sure cleans things up and makes it look nice. I like how they trimmed it out. I like how they mounted the speakers and didn't put any grills on them. You know, that's very 1970s to me and it works. Down there in the kick panels. It's got kind of a western theme to it, but not overboard western. You know, not cowboy western. Just um, I don't know. I like it. I think it works. I think it's, I think it's a very nice job, nice truck that uh, that was tastefully done. They executed it well. I like the color combos they chose. I'm not sure what that is. Besides, I'm guessing it's a GM V8 power plant. I like how they did the valve covers, the ribbing, and trimmed that out with the trim color, and then the uh, motor, of course, being the same color, and some of the uh, suspension pieces down there underneath cleaned everything up as far as the uh, wheel wells and and the firewall and all that very tidy and these trucks you know get the stance right that's really all you have to do to them you can do a whole lot more like these folks here did but really get the stance right some nice wheels I love that exposed rear end. That is very cool. These, the design of these rear ends, and you know, they've gone to the point where they're just not functional anymore. They're made to be displayed. They're made to be looked at. They're cool, you know. And then you, what, what I really appreciate about doing that is, is that you have to remember all that has to work. It all has to be safe going down the road. And then at the end of the day, hey, let's cut a big hole in the bed and accent it and make people stare at it and see how cool it is. So, you know, I appreciate the work and I appreciate, I appreciate the effect. I think it's cool to be able to see that suspension. Nice truck for sure. So there you go, a 1972 Chevrolet C10 street truck from the 2018 SEMA show. Hope you all enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.